So, mm-hmm. nung start ng 2022, so, wala akong, like, <laughs> clear, wala akong job, wala akong finances. So, I have to um, adjust everything. Hello, Hello, mga ka-Arki. Hello. Kamusta? Happy New Year, Marion. Happy New Year, mga ka-Arki. Kamusta ka? <laughs> Oo, mabuti naman. Uh, ito, no? Uh, celebrating the start of the new year. Oo, Hello. Happy New Year 2023, Sir Adriel at mga ka-Arki. Ka- kamusta ang uh, New Year mo, Sir Adriel? Ay, ayun. Uh, tahimik naman. Uh, may fireworks naman din sa CDO, no? Tapos, slowly, no? Uh, hinahanap na si Feng Shui para sa, mm. ano, medyo advanced for sa Lunar New Year naman. No? Kung anong mangyayari, no? Uh, per bago naman si Feng Shui or kung anong mang astrology or astronomy charts dyan, no? Um, Butan muna tayo sa mga things that we need to do, no? Sa start ng year for finance. So, iba yung topic natin ngayon. Because we will now discuss no, yung mga questions to ask ourselves when we are about to reorganize our finances for the year or beyond. It, ito ba yung dapat humarap ang ating mga ka sa salamin at tanungin nila ang kaninang sarili? Oh, Kaya, uh, dahil ano, may mga videos na kasi tayo, no, gumagawa ng financial plan, um, ano yung mga uh, financial things to do sa start of the year. Ito naman, bago, do, bago tayo gumawa ng financial plan, yung mga financial things to do, tanungin muna natin sa sarili. No? Facing the mirror, katulad ng sinabi mo, no? ano ba talaga yung kailangan natin sa finances natin? No? Lalo na tumataas yung inflation. No? Oo, and I think uh, mm-hmm. meron tayong isha-share sa ating mga ka na tatlong katanungan, no? na mga ka-arki, ginagawa rin to ni Sir Adriel no? sa simula ng bawat taon, tinatanong niya ang kanyang sarili. Yes. At maganda rin no? na tingnan din natin, no? bago na tayo kumilos, alamin muna natin yung why, di ba? Alam, bakit? Ano yung mga dapat natin tingnan muna bago gumawa, bago kumilos, di ba? Yes. No. So the first, so let's start now. So the first question I always ask myself, no? um, were my investment instruments the correct one? Um, normally, I start with this because I want to evaluate how effective are all of my investments na. Um, gumagana ba si mutual fund A1? Gumagana ba si stock A or stock B? Are they uh, moving me towards my goals? Um, if not, this leads me to my next question no? What do I need to adjust? Okay. Um, because once I figure out na yung mga in- investment instruments ko or yung mga financial vehicles ko, um, hindi naman siya sapat sa akin or if goals change or if conditions change, maybe I have to adjust my investment strategy. Maybe I have to change my financial vehicle. And dun na ako magsascout na ng mga products. Maybe I try it out for a while kung hindi ko feel uh, I change uh, or like swap sell stocks or buy and trade, no. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, once I do that, I double check for then. No? I also ask myself, how realistic are all of my goals? No? Because of mm-hmm. course, when we're doing financial planning, as much as possible, time bounded din tayo, no? And of course, realistic. Um, mm-hmm. So if let's say yung goals ko pala, ay, hindi pala realistic yung 10 m, no. Baka 8M, maybe 15M. So, again, we calculation no? sa Excel file. Um, ayaw ko i-share yung Excel file ko dahil private siya. Um, but most of the time, um, yung mga financial uh, calculations to Excel and then we compute. And then um, once makita ko yung goal, inisip ko, is this tama ba sa conditions? Like, now what if 8% yung inflation? What if magiging 5 bigla at some point? No? So, mm-hmm. These questions keep me grounded and then helps me reorganize no, kung saan yung pera makupunta ko. Like, saan makupunta yung pera ko um, ngayon. So, for example, not just to um, highlight or give a practical example. 
So, nung start ng 2022, so, wala akong, like, <laughs> clear, wala akong job, wala akong finances. So, I have to um, adjust everything based on these three criteria. So, I said, I don't think pwede yung stocks ko right now. So, obviously, stocks is not a good financial vehicle for me. So, dito muna ako sa savings ko. And then, um, what do I need to adjust? And of course, since wala akong pera, so, the adjustment ko is, kailangan ko maghanap ng tabaho or like, um, a freelance opportunity so that mapondo ko yung mga goals ko. No? Especially yung mga two to three years na lang. And of course, I have to explore din no, yung mga banks because I think during that time, ING was about to close or prior to that, I was actually using ING. And then at some point along the way, ING closed. I have to again readjust no, um, my financial plan. So I had to scout different products again, get a feel on how it works and then eventually settled on uh, a different um, digital bank. And then um, how realistic are my goals? So again, in time horizon, inisiko. Kaya ba 2024? Ganito yung amount. Kung hindi, ano na naman yung kailangan kong i-adjust? Is it my income? Is it my expenses? Is it my investment vehicle? So eventually, I settled on my income. So tinaasan ko yung um, income capacity ko para mas dumaas yung savings ko. Uh, simply because fixed na yung expenses ko. Hindi na yung masyado tumataas eh. So, I have no choice but to increase yung income ko. So, that's how I normally do things. Again, situational it may dif- differ from one person to person. But hopefully, yung three questions na binigay ko sa start can help you um, maybe formulate no your own questions as well para uh, you can reorganize your finances and then create a new financial plan or maybe a more dynamic financial plan along the way. Mm-hmm. O, oh, naalala ko, uh, Sir Adriel, no, sa ating mga uh, clients dito sa Wealth Archie na ginagawa natin ng investment plan, retirement plan, mm-hmm. or educational plan, uh, kabilang sa ating recommendation ay gumawa ng annual review or makipag-meeting para sa isang annual review. At uh, isa sa mga ginagawa natin, mga ka sa annual review ay itanong din itong mga tanong na binanggit ni Sir Adriel. No? Um... So, nakapag-conduct na rin ako ng mga annual review with some of our clients. At doon ko nakita, no, um, kunwari, doon uh, sa second question mo, what do I need to adjust? So, titingnan natin ngayon, uh, Sir Adriel, di ba, yung ilalabas ngayon ni client, ng ating mga investor, yung kanilang statement of account. Pwedeng screenshot yan, or pwedeng paper talaga siya na binibigay ng UITF or mutual fund titingnan natin doon yung market value, di ba? At the end of the year, ano na yung market value ni client? Kasi every year, di ba, if we're investing for something, dapat papalapit ka dun sa goal mo, di ba? So, kunwari, year one, dapat meron ka ng 1 million pesos, di ba? So, nakita natin, based on your cash flow, kaya naman. So, at the end of year one, dapat may 1 million pesos ka na. So, ito na. Um, ipapa mag-uusap na tayo with the client, ipapakita na ni client yung kanilang statement of account tapos nakita natin 800,000 pesos lang, di ba? Oh no, 800 <laughs> oh, oh. So um, oh, as a financial planner ang isipin ko doon, bakit kaya hindi narating ni client yung year 1 target amount of 1 million pesos so, ang iisipin ko na dyan, baka hindi consistent si client na magtabi no, ng certain amount per month. Di ba? Mm. Hindi siya consistent. Pangalawa, pwedeng yung returns na pinibigay ng fund, tulad ng nabanggit mo kanina, baka palagoong. Di ba? <laughs> hindi siya uh, competitive no, with peers, with other funds. no So, baka kailangan palitan. So, yun, no? what do I need to adjust? So, uh, minsan mga ka maganda itong, uh, hindi minsan, ka, maganda itong annual review kasi uh, when consulting with financial planners like Sir Adriel or ako, Sir Fitz, Sir Renzi, or Miss Jendi, is meron tayong third party, third person point of view na magsasabi sa inyo na 
bakit hindi ka consistent magtabi ng let's say 100,000 pesos per month? Kung gusto nating marating yung goal na ganitong amount in five years. Diba? So after finding that out, what do you need to adjust? Baka kailangan ngayon, mas malaki na yung kailangan ilalagay mo or i-invest mo for 2023 instead of just 100,000 para mahabol mo yung target amount mo at the end of the fifth year, baka 120,000 na yung kailangan mong ilagay. Um, of course, Sir Adrian, di ba, we compute this. Itong mga binibigay nating numbers are just to give you a visualization kung paano natin ine-execute yung annual review at uh, binibigyang halaga yung mga tanong na binanggit ni Sir Adriel. Mm-hmm. And then one last thing no before we end the video no. Um itong mga questions na to, di naman siya kailangan like hard set na start of the year. You can also revisit them no mid year or four or five months down the line uh, simply because yung mga market forces beyond our control ang uh, offer or it also happen no, like inflation war in ukraine or yung covid no 19 pandemic in 2020 so it's always good to revisit every now and then but not every day ba <laughs> maano ka na no um you might be <laughs> mentally stressed out or um ba mo pa pressure ka kung every day mo yung ginagawa visit every now and then no? mga every six months maybe if after eight months no para at least Kalma lang, kalma lang. Steer the course hanggang ma-reach mo yung financial growth mo. Mm-hmm. At uh, sa akin naman, ang parting ko dito kasi as humans, di ba, uh, meron tayong tendency na uh, to avoid risk and to relax, di ba? So mamaya, um, every now, um, may nakita lang tayo na down yung market, magpapanik na tayo, ganyan. Or kunwari, uh, wala akong pera masyado ngayong March eh. Huwag mo na ako mag-invest. Uh, huwag ko mo nang sundan yung peso cost averaging. So, doon natin magka- makikita no, kung sinusundan ba natin yung ating mga ginawang investment plan o may kailangan tayong i-adjust. Ayan. Yes. No. And it all ties then together no, kung tama ba yung ginamit natin fund or we might change or kung realistic ba yung goals natin. And then adjust to it. No, oh, ayan. So, uh, sana mga ka-Arky no nabigyan namin kayo ng idea no kung ka- gaano kahalaga ang tanungin ng ating sarili kung kamusta na tayo sa ating mga finances. Yes, hard look in the mirror kung hindi hard look muna sa phone natin. Ayaw. Si selfie. Uh, <laughs> selfie sabay tanong-tanong sa sarili. Muni-muni mga ka-Arky. Ayan. Yes. Maraming salamat sa panonood ngayong dito sa ating pre-recorded video. <laughs> yes. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. And if you like our content, please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends and family. So, so next week ulit, Marion. Ingat and have a great new year. Bye. Happy new year. Bye. Bye.